Today's battle will be between Mill and Blue and White Heroic. A Mill deck tries to remove all of an opponent's cards from their library. When this happens, their opponent is not able to draw a card during their draw step and will automatically lose the game. Mill decks are generally vulnerable to aggro styles because they don't use a lot of creatures, so when creatures attack them, they have nothing to block with. Also, this deck is generally not considered to be a competitive deck. It has to be kind of lucky on its draw, and your opponent kind of has to be a little bit unlucky. Still, it's a fun deck to play, and a lot of people like this mechanic. A heroic deck takes advantage of low-cost white heroic creatures. These creatures get plus one plus one counters whenever you cast a spell that targets them. Often these spells also add other bonuses to them, so on top of getting the plus one plus one, they get another thing as well. It's kind of a two for one when you cast a spell then. The heroic deck tries to use enchantments to give bonuses, and it can be very competitive, especially for low budget players. This deck can generally be put together for 30 or 40 dollars. Okay, so we're about to begin the battle. Uh, both sides have already rolled, and White Heroic is going to go first. Okay, so let's see their opening hand. Okay, they got a Plains, Ordula Thassa, an Island, Favorite Hoplite. That's going to be probably the driver of most of their enchantments. Another Ordula Thassa, a Pharah's Enlightenment, and a Plains. It's actually a pretty good hand. They actually have the ability to cast their favorite hoplite right away, and then by next turn already start enchanting it with a whole bunch of things. Um, that will give them a chance to get out quickly, and hopefully they'll top deck a few other cheap creatures to be able to uh, add to the favorite hoplite, but it's not bad to start. Okay, so let's see what Mill's gonna draw for their opening hand. So, Mill's got Devour Flesh, that's a good card for removal, an Archive Trap, an Island, a Swamp, a Glimpse the Unthinkable, that's Extirpate, and a Glimpse the Unthinkable again. That card, Glimpse the Unthinkable, is considered to be probably the best Mill card in uh, Magic. It's uh, two mana, one, one blue, one black, and a Mill's ten, so it's actually pretty impressive. Okay, so here I explain first, and as predicted, it would play a Plains, tap it, and get a favorite Hoplite right, uh, right away. Okay, uh, he can't attack yet because he got Summoning Sickness, but that doesn't matter anyways. He's going to get buffed next turn and then be able to come out and attack. Okay, so Mill just drew a Nephalia Drown Yard. That's a later game card uh, that can mill three here and there. Um, it's not as relevant up front, but... Uh, but it's an okay draw for later. Okay, so we're playing a Swamp, and there's nothing that they can do, so they're going to pass the turn. Okay. The only thing they could cast would be Extirpate, but Extirpate requires you to have cards in your opponent's graveyard, um, so there's nothing they can do. Okay, so White Heroic's going to untap, draw a card. Okay, so we're playing an Island. Looks like they picked up an Ordeal of Heliod. Okay, so they're tapping for two. And they're going to play that Ordeal of Heliod. Okay, now that gives your opponent a plus one, plus one counter. Uh, and then also another plus one, plus one counter whenever he attacks. Or he gets a plus one, plus one counter whenever he attacks, but he also gets a plus one, plus one just for getting the enchant on him. Then after he gets three, we're going to sacrifice our deal of Heliod and gain three life. Now, normally that would actually be a really good thing to get ten life so quickly, but against Mill, Mill doesn't really care about how much life you have because it only cares about how many cards you have. So you can get as many car as much life as you want, and Mill's not really going to care. Okay, so Mill went down to 17 life. Mill just drew us another archive trap. It's uh, with a ghost quarter, it'd be really good, but uh, but right now it's it's just a, a later game card. 
Okay, so with two mana now, I can cast a Glimpse of the Unthinkable. Okay, and mill ten. That's going to at least start the milling process and maybe open white up for some extra pay later on. Okay, so they're taking out their 10 cards. You can see they've lost quite a few good cards, but there's still a lot of cards in the deck. The problem with Mill is that you are you feel like you're getting a lot of advantage against your opponent because you're taking cards out of their library. But really, if the card never reached their hand, it never really did, it does any damage anyways. Which you, a better strategy is actually to try and remove cards from their hand. Um, so let's see, we're going to untap. So they'll draw and get a planes. That's actually not bad. They just play it right away. Okay, and now they're going to be able to buff that favorite hoplite again. Okay, so if he casts another spell on favorite hoplite, he's gonna the favorite hoplite will have three plus one plus one counters on it, which is okay. Uh, and then he's gonna lose the ordeal of Heliod and gain ten life. Okay, so we're putting our Dila Thrasa onto the onto the favorite hoplite. The, so he gets a plus three counter. Ordeal of Heliod is going to be sacrificed. We get ten life. Okay. Now, also, um, because they have three plus one plus one counters, Ordeal Thassa is going to have to be sacrificed uh, in a moment as well. And then they're going to have to draw two cards. Now, card draw is normally a really good thing to have, um, but um, card draws are normally a good thing to have. But against mill, it's only okay because you're kind of helping to mill yourself. Okay, so we're dealing with Thassa just got sacrifice. I'm going to draw two cards. An island. Creature would be nice. A Battlewise Hoplite, that's actually perfect. So next turn, Battlewise Hoplite can come out and get buffed. Okay, especially with an Ordeal or Thassa or Ethereal's Enlightenment. Okay, so attacking for four damage. Okay. Uh, Mill can't do anything to defend itself against that. Okay, at this point, Mill's basically on a four-turn counter. Uh, it's going to have to do something quick, otherwise it's going to, uh, otherwise it's just going to get killed. Oh, not even four damage, five damage. Okay. So Mill draws an island, plays the island. Okay, and tap two, and this is actually a good idea. Uh, I think that they're going to devour flesh. Yeah. So, because Heroic only has one creature, they, it's the only creature they can sacrifice, and they're going to gain life equal to its toughness, but it doesn't really matter because um, because Mill doesn't care how much life you have, it only cares how many cards you have. Okay, so I had five toughness. So, it's going to... Okay, so now we got 35 life for Heroic. It doesn't matter, like I said, Mill's not going to try and attack its life at all. Okay, so let's see what happens here. Just gonna pass over to Heroic. Okay, Heroic's going to untap, draw. Okay. Aqueous form. Okay, it makes your creature unblockable, which is a nice one. Okay, 38 cards seems like a lot, but if those archive traps hit, that's like those could actually go 26 cards in, in a hurry. Okay, so they're tapping two for a Battlewise Hoplite. At least another two mana for another enchantment. Okay, so they're tapping the other two. Probably Ordeal Athasa. Yeah. Okay. So he gets a plus one, plus one counter. And scry one, which is actually pretty good too. Okay, a favorite hoplite. Yeah, I would keep that as well, uh, just because it's okay to have a bunch, a bunch of uh, a bunch of creatures on the board to do a simultaneous attack. 
Okay, so let's see, Mill's turn. Okay, favor of Hoplite couldn't attack that turn because it was had summoning sickness. Okay, so Mill drew an island and just played it. Okay, can't do very much because of only one swamp. Okay, tapping two for Glimpse the Unthinkable and Mill another 10. That's going to bring them down from 38 to 28. Lost a favorite hoplite, another aqueous form, eh, some land. Defiant Strike, that's a tough one to lose. A Defiant Strike is a one mana uh, enchantment, which is nice because if you get that, you can actually just pop it onto your creature or very qu quickly and buff him up. Um, that's okay though. Okay, so right now Mill can't do anything else because it doesn't have any swamps, so it's gonna have to pass the turn. Okay, so draw. Okay, looks like an artisan of forms. Okay, and favorite hoplite could get very big quick very quickly here. So tapping three mana for a Ferris Enlightenment. Now I should say it was a good idea to cast Glimpse the Unthinkable uh, last turn because Heroic just scried and kept their card. So you know that they had a card on the top of their deck that they wanted. So it's good to mill it out and make sure they didn't get it. Okay, so Let's see, Affairs Enlightenment is going to buff him. Okay, uh, now Affairs Enlightenment gives him a plus one, plus one. Okay, plus because he's target, he gets another plus one, plus one. Okay, so scry and put that on the bottom. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so the affair. Uh, the Ordeal of Thassa has to be sacrificed because it has three plus one plus one counters on him, and they're going to draw two. You can tell with all these, with the Ordeal of Thassa, it's nice for the heroic deck because it keeps giving it gas, meaning you never really run out of cards in your hand, or you're not likely to because you get a lot of card draw to keep buffing your creatures over and over again. Okay, now a nice thing about the. Um, Okay, a nice thing about Afara's Enlightenment is that when Afara's Enlightenment, when another creature comes onto the battlefield, Afara's Enlightenment is going to go back to your hand, right? And then you can cast it again, so you can keep buffing the same creature over and over again with it. Okay, so attacking, that's five damage, goes down to seven. Okay, it looks like Mill's in trouble. They're going to have to do something in a turn or two to win the game, and there's still 27 cards in, in their library. Okay, and extricate's not that great. Okay, playing their Nefalia Drown Yard. Okay, any land at all is going to help. Okay, so they tap five, and it looks like they're playing Archive Trap. Archive Trap can be pretty deadly because it's going to uh, cause your opponent to mill 13 from their deck. As I said, Archive Trap can be pretty deadly. Okay, once you get in, especially coupled with Ghost Quarter. The cool thing with Archive Trap is you can play Ghost Quarter and destroy one of your opponent's land. What it does is it allows your opponent to search their library for another land to replace it, but as soon as they search their land, Archive Trap can be cast for free with no mana and cause your opponent to mill 13. Okay, so White Heroic is going to untap, and draw. Okay, so they're going to try and do 8 damage. Okay, they need to try and do 7 damage. Alright, so let's see if they can get that done. Okay. Now, because all of their spells cost 2 mana, and each requires 2 islands, they only have 2 islands, they can only cast 2 of their spells. I don't think that they have enough to try and get 7, or to get the 7 life, or 7 damage out right away. They'd have to wait till next turn. Now this is what I mean, if they had had uh, like a Defiant Strike or something like that, it's a 1 mana card, then they'd be able to cast that third buff, get that extra point of damage out, and then swing for a kill in this turn. But I don't think they're going to be able to. Okay, So casting Ordeal of Thassa is actually a good idea to start, right? because there's already more than 3, three, three plus 1 plus 1 counters on it. They're going to get to scry 1 and then draw 2. 
right? So what they're going to be able to do is uh, look, try and look for a card that they need. Okay, so a Battlewise Hoplite's not what they need. Okay, hopefully they have a card, an enchantment that they have in there in these top two, and they can top deck it out. Singing Bell Strike, that's only good against other opponents and Seeker of the Way. Mm, the, either of those don't really help at all. Okay, so in this turn it looks like they're only going to be able to do six, five or six damage here. Okay, so let's take a look. Okay, so Stratus Walk enters the battlefield, going to get to draw another card, trying to look for that card. Okay, Trekle Cove gives them the, would give them the extra mana, but they've already played a land this turn. It's nothing they can really do. Okay, so they're going to attack, tapping, attack for six. Oh, just, just leaves Mill with one life. Okay, and let's see then. Okay, so Mill's gonna come and Mill play another Archive Trap next turn, and that's gonna be it. Let's see. So they're gonna untap all five, draw a Hedron Crab. Hedron Crab's a good early game card, but a kind of a terrible late game card. Um, okay, play another Archive Trap and Mill 13. And that's going to be it for Heroic. It's not going to have enough cards in its deck. Okay, once Mill passes its turn, then Heroic's going to have to draw. They'll be unable to draw and they're going to lose the game. I'm kind of surprised actually about this outcome. Uh, I thought Heroic would be able to come out a little bit speedier and, uh, and take Mill out. But yeah, Mill managed to narrowly survive this one and looks like Mill is the winner. So in summary, Mill won a really narrow victory. I mean, if had Heroic got a different draw, they could have been easily beaten. Uh, Mill was almost out of gas. All it had was two extra pace left in its hand. And Heroic could have won, as I said, if they had a few luckier draws. Uh, for instance, if they had uh, like a Defiant Strike or something like that, then it could have gone a totally different way. Still, Mill is the, vict uh, is the victor here, and it just shows that this deck can be you know, competitive sometimes.